Hey, what's going on guys? Nick and I here and today I'm feeling a little bit under the weather But I thought I'd go ahead and make a video for you guys at least one to make sure we get our fix here uh, I just recovered a guardian for gunboat energy 12% So I just bumped that up to 16 by making a new one right there We're gonna continue by building a masterpiece there and uh, I'll leave some music in the background Sorry if, sorry if I'm a little bit quieter today um, My voice is just a little bit hurting right now. So this is gonna be a little bit shorter episode we're just going to go ahead and go through the motions here and do some attacks. And maybe we'll talk about my operation. Just a standard let's play of Boom Beach. Nothing too crazy. Um, I can attack when ready on this base, so we may as well try it out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, boost my troop damage, my troop health, and my gumboat energy. <clears throat> and we'll see what we can do here. So this one's a 122. Let's scout it and see if we can help out the team. Um, first off on this one here... It looks really rough, so I'm just going to try to take out the rocket launchers, I guess, and see what we can do, or this area right here. Uh, nothing too fancy. All my guys are probably going to die anyway, um, but we'll just try it out. So I'm going to throw three smoke on the beach right here, throw all the troops down, and let's just flare them right here to this boom cannon. So I'm going to throw all the smoke down, and hopefully uh, with the heavy warrior strategy, the warriors uh, will be the second thing to be targeted. The only problem is there's so many defenses right here, so let's just uh, let's go for it with that, 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 and any more splash damage things that could hit me over here. All right, so we're only gonna be able to take out maybe a couple buildings, but can't be too picky here. I'm just gonna lay everything I can into those flamethrowers right there, and uh, you know, hopefully, if a few more people attack, we can clear some of those boom cannons. Maybe have a shot at it, but that's just showing you really how hard those operation levels are. Uh, this one we always struggle with, and the one right before it, Foxtrot, is like a little too easy. So I wish there was something kind of in the middle of that, but it's okay. Uh, we'll just kind of keep doing our thing, I guess. Now let's get a couple um, player attacks in. Man, I, I probably shouldn't even have made this video, but it's okay. I'd rather just make one. Um, <clears throat> this base here looks pretty standard, so I'm just going to throw the two smoke on the beach. And uh, we're going to flare to the HQ. And here we go. I'm going to go with 2-1-2 uh, two, two because they're running wide on this one for some reason right now. Throw the last two smokes down, and that should guide them in perfectly right there. And I'm just going to throw a med kit to uh, heal up any damaged warriors. It looks like all of our heavies made it, so that's going to be good. I'm just watching that timer. And now we're going to uh, shock all the boom cannons because the shock launchers will shoot the heavies. So it's not as important as it was before to shock the shock launchers when you're using this strategy because the warriors still get to keep swinging even though the heavies are shocked. So that's a good point about having the heavies a little bit um, off of the HQ. So the heavy warrior strategy, it's definitely been working out pretty well for me. Um, but yeah, let me know how you guys have liked it down below if you uh, have the ability to use it yet. Looks like somebody else is attacking the base that I just attacked. Let's see what we can uh, get out of this here. So we've got... Uh, Looks like heavy Zuka, and they're they're kind of getting scattered in the in the smoke over there. Oh, going for like a sneak attack win. Okay. Uh, looks like most of the Zukas did die. There's a medic down over there. Um, take out that rocket would be pretty good, but yeah, that, that's just a rough base. It's like a corner base on a player map, but like gone wild operation style. So we still have 15 attacks. Hopefully, we'll be able to take down that one. I don't think we'll be able to finish it, but uh, I'll get more. Oh, someone wants me to get more officers. I'll get some more officers. Um, what else do we got going on here? My troops are ready, so let's finish up. Do more attacking here. Um, Alright. Hit that boom mine. Oh, man. There's a lot of mines on the way there, but I think that this one will be okay. So we're going to drop all the guys on the corner here. And just flare them. Alright, so we're going to start the smoke now. I didn't really need it before now. This one looks like he put a bunch of stuff in the way, but it doesn't look like my warriors are going to go over to the dock. It's a pretty straight up, all the way up, just go for it base. I did lose a good amount of warriors, not going to lie. I'm going to drink some Powerade while the smoke clears. Throat, uh, coat my throat a little bit. Alright. Um, and then you guys, uh, we will have some open spots in warriors. I'm going to set it to 700 victory points and up. If you guys want to come in and join, um, I'm trying to balance a lot of things, you know, playing the game and not just sitting on it all day, along with, you know, obviously I play other games, and then I edit the videos. Um, I don't know what where the shift really happened, but Clash and Boom, I've really noticed that, like, 
people want people to only be playing that game that they're on lately. And yeah, we're a leaderboard, uh, I was gonna say guild, um, task force, but I, I just hope, I was hoping I could find some good officers to assist with running it, because obviously I can't be on as much as I'd like to be. So, if you are looking for a place that, and I, I basically the moral of the story, don't be mad if you do want to come and join, and I'm not on 24-7 to chat. Here we go. Warriors going down, heading to the HQ. Throw a quick med kit. Heavies are cutting it close. I'm gonna have to throw another smoke over here. All right, there goes the smoke. A couple of shock bombs, four of them actually. And the warriors shouldn't really have a problem here. All the big guns were looking at the heavies, but uh, I froze most of them with some shock bombs. So we're good there and ideas goes down. So we did just need a good map clear day. So I guess it's kind of good that it's just like this kind of video here. Um. All right, 48. Let's keep ripping up these player bases and see where we can get to here. Um, where's the HQ? All the way in the back there. Nothing too crazy about this one, except I am in a barrage right there <clears throat> to take out the residents, and uh, I did clear a boom mine that I think I was going to hit. All right, so we're going to drop all our guys right here. I'm going to throw one more smoke because the boom cannon always looks through that those two smokes I throw. All right, a couple extra smoke, and then here the last two, like I said, you want to throw close together so that the heavies uh, become fireable right before the warriors get to swing. All right, um, what else is going on here? Med kit, pretty standard base, let's go for it. Three shock bombs, put my artillery blast right into the center there, and that'll be game over. I'll throw a celebratory flare right there on top of the other one, and down goes Pedsy, I think that's why you say that. All right, here we go. Two warriors left, or dead, fill up the boats. And 52, let's take out Mike C. Okay. Dang, Mike C, though. Hmm, this is a tough one to do with this, because I'm going to have to actually take out all these. Alright, let's throw everything over here. Hopefully that barrage, that barrage didn't get that one mine. Dang. Dang. Hey, what does it sound like? Dang. Alright, here we go. Um, it's okay, it only dropped one warrior max, and I didn't throw the last two very close together, and my warriors are drifting, and this is just a mess. Alright, here we go. Warriors are on the HQ, they're stepping out of the smoke a little bit, but he did make it so you could shock both of his shock launchers, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, three shock bombs down, the warriors are swinging, we've got machine guns and flamethrowers hitting them. He is a level 52, so this should have been the hardest one uh, so far of the episode, but I really didn't think that was too bad. There we go. Um, boom, blow it up. Later, Mike C. We're cracking away at levels and taking names here. Fill up the boats. Attack this level 47. Who do we got? Crazy BZ. Crazy BZ. Alright. Same situation here. Smoke's on the beach. We're gonna rush this one with uh, offset smokes in case they do go wide. Don't think I needed it, but I always just like to be extra cautious. Most of the time I'm not though. All right, here we go. Everyone's approaching. Heavies are in position. And the smoke's about to wear off. I have enough for four shock bombs, crazy. All right, so down goes that HQ, that was 47. So pretty easy right now. Um, this weekend, expect to see a diamond to max where we get some sick attacks in and then uh, beep up our base again. I think I'm gonna start going, uh, I don't know, landing craft or defense, you guys decide down below. Um, I wish I could put more into a video today. I just, it's better than not making one, but I can't ruin my streak. Um, I started in December, and I never missed a day of uploading, so I at least want to get the one year, one year anniversary down. Alright, here we go. Um, kind of hard because you have to walk through a lot of defenses initially, but once you get through those initial ones, you don't have to face them at the end, which is kind of nice. So it's going to be a rough intro right here, but I think we'll be okay. 
Alright, I'm just gonna have to do single smokes because otherwise it's gonna cost too much. So we may lose some guys because of that, but it's okay. So I spaced them out pretty spaciously. Um, and it looks like most of the guys are gonna get there okay. I might throw a med kit down and the heavies are even making it there okay too. So heavies can be smoked to the HQ uh, just as easy as the warriors can it looks like. Um, over here we've got some shock bombs throwing them on that one shock launcher then the sniper towers and now the rest of this looks like it'll be pretty easy. Down goes the base and uh, AAD was no problem for me. Just, just what I'm saying, just what I'm saying. Alright, thank you warriors. There's two more victory points and some more intel. What are we rocking right now? 702, so thank goodness we're back in the 700 range. I promise because I'm sick today, I'm going to sit on the couch after this. Um, I'll rest my voice up, hopefully get better. I, like I said in the last video, I was feeling kind of sick. Yeah, it's because right around my birthday, every year, I don't know if the weather changes, but like, I'm always sick on my birthday. It's on Monday, so I hope I can make a fun video that day. Um, yeah. I was going to say I'll just be sitting on the couch and working on clearing my map today. So hopefully I can get up to like 740 if I clear my map. And then uh, from there, my next goal is 800, which I don't think I've ever hit yet because I was um, never had the bases to clear. So that'll be cool to see. And here we go with 47 CC goes down. So I think I'm just going to do one more and then wrap it up. But this was a pretty good video. I mean, we got some good raids in. I failed a little bit on the operation battle, but that was an impossible base. That would have been good for like, I don't even know, there was boom cannons and there was splash damage, so it wouldn't have been good for the heavy Zooka. Tanks would have got ripped up by the boom cannons. The warriors got ripped up by everything. Um, it's just rough. Alright, here we go, a ting fan. Um, artillery, artillery, artillery. Um, Um, phew. Flared a little bit early. I don't know why I threw that first smoke. I was honestly just thinking about spacing out, throwing smoke. <laughs> Alright, here we go, here we go. Two last smokes at the end there. Um, the shock launcher that would be able to hit my guys is under construction, so that's good. It looks like everyone's going to get to the HQ alright. Uh, heavies are getting into position. And here we go. Light them up, guys. Shock launcher is shooting my guys, but that, that died so quick, I don't even know what to say. Super easy, um, the offense with the gunboat and the troop damage buffs is definitely the way to go if you're trying to climb, um, but you do need some defense ones to hold your position, but at the same time it's like with operations, if you want to have a good operation task force, I know I said one more, but one more. Um, Kim, get offline bro, or is it a girl? Attack, GVC, going down, alright. With operations, I feel like you'd want to have just the maximum amount of gunboat energy and troop damage, but I guess it's like, dang, oh wow, that that boom, oh no, why did I flare to that boom cannon? Slipping up here at the end, guys. Alright. Throw the proper flare down. Wait for it here. And... Shock bomb, shock bomb, shock bomb. Med kit. I shocked a little bit too early, but I threw the smoke out of sequence over there. I guess we'll just throw a fun barrage on that sniper tower. Let's see if we can take it down before it blows up. Yeah, there it is. Sniper tower goes down, GVC 691, and the battle is over. So we've cleared some of the maps. We broke back into 700. I'm going to continue to push. Uh, I'm going to manage my task force a little bit better, you guys. It is the Warriors task force. We're like 20-something on the global top 50 leaderboards. If you guys want to stop by and join, there'll probably be some open spots today. Um, other than that, thank you for so much for watching the video, even though I was super sick. I apologize for being sick. Um, I'll go try to get some rest and not talk the rest of the day, though. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, for everything Boom Beach and Clash of Clans, you know what to do because you're already doing it. Keep it tuned right here to Teach Boom Beach. I'm Nick at Night, and I'll talk to you guys in the next episode.